Hey, welcome to Perk Stream for May 3rd, 2023. God truly hears us. Hey, this is Pastor Mike. Thanks for stopping by for Perk Stream. It's good to spend a few minutes with you. Hey, what's the best thing about sending out a text message? Getting a response, right? It's like the payoff for having started a communication is to have somebody respond. And that can be true about an email, a Facebook post, or even if you're still just calling and leaving a voicemail, you're just hoping that someone's heard it and then gets back to you, right? Well, sometimes we can feel that way about our prayers. The best thing about prayer is when God responds. But what happens, just like with a text, if we don't hear back? You know, sometimes we can feel like, well, if God answered according to my prayer, then God is good. I'm disappointed if God gives a different answer. But when I don't hear from God at all, I am completely disappointed. Well, there are several ways we could go with this, but I want to bring us back to one central thought. That God's character is not based on whether he answers my prayers my ways. God is good and God is wise and God is understanding in all situations at all times. So if I am basing my assessment of his character on how he responds to me, then who's really playing God here, right? Who's really trying to be in charge? We sometimes try to take charge of the whole prayer process and we forget something. Prayer is at its core conversation. It's the relationship that we have to the Lord and it's supported and breathed into by prayer. And some of the things we forget to do is we forget to take time to listen. We go on about our day. We wait for the answer to come in while we're doing so many other things. And God, maybe he wants to talk to us. Maybe the very first thing he wants to do is relate to us, to just to be with us. And he's saying, hey, the next time that you come, can you leave your request and then uh, wait for me to speak into that silence? Because I would love to talk with you and I would love to be with you. I know I'm as guilty of that as anybody because waiting around after saying amen, or even if I don't say amen, if it's just the silence, it's just hard because I'm waiting for something to happen and I'm not sure how God's going to go about doing it. He has done it in very tangible ways. And other times it's had to come throughout the day. But I'm always guaranteed this, if I will pray and if I will wait, God does speak and God does answer. You know, there's a time in Israel's history where they were very much questioning whether God would hear them and whether God was even aware of them. And so he sent Isaiah to them with these words. He says, why do you complain, Jacob? And why are you grousing, O Israel? Why do you say my way is hidden from the Lord and my cause is disregarded by God. It's like sending the email and not getting a reply. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the head ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow weary and stumble. And young men stumble and fall badly, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. You know, someone I've listened to over time who understands this better than I do is Johnny Erickson Tata. Johnny suffered a tragic accident while diving as a teenager. And while she lived, she has lived out her days as a quadriplegic. Not, unable to use her arms or her legs. And yet she has lived into the fullness of God and his character and has come to understand certain things. And this is something that she says about that. The real satisfaction does real satisfaction comes not from understanding God's motives, but in understanding his character, in trusting in his promises and in learn, leaning on him and resting in him as the sovereign who knows what he is doing and does all things well. So as we pray today, what I want to encourage us to do is lean into God, lean in and stop after we've made our request, after we've sent our message, make some space to listen to God and let his good 
Holy Spirit speak back to you. Speak back to me. Let's take time to know that God is good and he is understanding and wise and anything and everything he does, he will do with that goodness of character because he is true to who he is. Thank you.